Hey darling, are you ready for some sweet tea and some boiled peanuts? The Tiger's kickoff is in about an hour and Frogmore stew is in the cooker. Say what? Hey y'all, it's Lindsay Vance, realtor in Aiken, South Carolina. And on today's episode, let's go over eight things you need to know about living in South Carolina. I'm talking everything from common sayings to how we have fun. So yes ma'am, let's get to it. Now bless your heart. Actually, that's not really a nice thing if someone says that to you in the South. It actually means that they feel sorry for something stupid that you've said. Okay, now let's get a little more polite. If someone calls you ma'am or sir, it's just a common hospitality thing here in the South. How about sugar, honey, darling, sweet pea? You'll surely be called that if you stop into a local mom and pop shop. Now, of course, the ever famous saying anywhere in the South is y'all. It stands for you all, but really it can mean anywhere from one person to a group of people. And if you get way in the South, you might hear a conjunction y'all dove. That actually means you all would have. Huh? It's a silly saying, but you better get used to it. Okay, one of the best things that everyone knows about the South is the food. My favorite all time side of the road farm stand snack is boiled peanuts. It's actually our state snack. And recently, some trendy new restaurants have been putting it on their menu for a delicious appetizer. Some other common staples in the South and especially South Carolina are grits. Now, of course, they don't look so great, but they are so, so good. They're commonly eaten during breakfast or dinner and our South Carolina staple dish is actually shrimp and grits. Don't miss it if you see it on a menu. Another common staple food here in South Carolina is pimento cheese. You've got to try it if you haven't. You can find it in our grocery stores, pre-made, or even at some of our restaurants, they include it as a topping for your burger or even a delicious appetizer. Pimento cheese is one of the best. It reminds me of being on the lake in the summers. One of the best and most common staple foods in the South is barbecue. Now it's different everywhere in the country, but the biggest rival is between North and South Carolina. If you're in South Carolina, barbecue is gonna have a mustard based sauce. If you're in North Carolina, it's rather a vinegar based sauce and they will forever argue over who has the best barbecue. Now add some homemade mac and cheese, hush puppies and coleslaw, and some sweet tea, and that's about the best dish you can get in South Carolina. Being able to enjoy the weather all year round in South Carolina means having cookouts and gatherings. And they're really unlike any other if you're here in the state. We have cookouts that are common known as frogmore stew, or a low country boil, or even an oyster roast. A low country boil, also known as frogmore stew, is actually not a stew and it doesn't have frogs in it. Don't worry, it has the freshest ingredients like shrimp, sometimes crawfish, sausage, corn, and potatoes. And you pour it out on a big table covered in newspaper, get a big roll of paper towels, and no utensils needed. Frogmore stew actually originated in a small fishing village of Frogmore located on St. Helena Island just outside of Hilton Head. You definitely don't wanna miss out on this kind of gathering in South Carolina. Now, you'll find it pretty common to just dump a pot of food out on a picnic table that's covered in newspaper and no utensils needed, but a lot of paper towels. That's how we eat in South Carolina. I'm talking about a good old oyster roast. Just like other areas, an oyster roast is like having a fish fry or a clam bake. There are festivals and oyster roasts throughout the state that are fun to enjoy this awesome event. So to go along with food and hospitality, you have to have some good drinks, right? Of course, we're in the South, so sweet tea is a staple. But did you know that actually sweet tea was originated in Somerville, South Carolina? Now, if you're ordering tea in the South, especially South Carolina, it's gonna come out sweet. So if you want unsweet tea, sometimes it's not an option and well, people might just look at you like you're weird. Actually, we love our sweet tea so much, we made an adult beverage for it. 
It is Firefly Sweet Tea Vodka. It is so good on ice, relaxing on your porch while the sun goes down. Check it out. It actually originated in Charleston, South Carolina. One more treat you might experience in South Carolina is a little taste of moonshine. Our first legal moonshine distillery is actually located in Anderson, South Carolina called Palmetto Moonshine. If you're traveling through, make sure to stop by. So what else does South Carolina like to do other than eat, drink, and throw a great party? Well, put it all together and you've got college football. Let's talk Clemson and University of South Carolina, the state's biggest sports rivalry. Actually, it's one of a handful of rivalries that are coming from two different premier conferences. University of South Carolina is part of the SEC conference and Clemson is part of the ACC. Now, one mistake you don't wanna make. When you're talking about Carolina and you're in South Carolina, they're talking about University of South Carolina. Don't mistake in that for up north in North Carolina, that's commonly known as Carolina at University of North Carolina. You better know the difference when you're talking Carolina when you're in the South. You might also overhear someone talking about USC. That doesn't mean Southern California. Again, it's the University of South Carolina, also known as the Carolina Gamecocks. So the biggest rivalry of the state, are you a house divided? South Carolina is actually known as the golf capital of the world, and more specifically, the Myrtle Beach area. Throughout the entire state, there are more than 300 public and private golf courses. And where I'm located here in Aiken, I'm only about 18 miles from the Masters Golf Tournament at Augusta National. How cool is that? Hey, darling, do you want to shag? Yeah, baby. Wait. We're not talking about the Austin Powers reference of shagging. Breaking. When you're talking about shagging in South Carolina, it's actually our local dance, which is a blend of Southern swing dancing and the jitterbug. It's so much fun. It actually originated in Myrtle Beach and quickly made its way north into the beaches of North Carolina and is now known as the Carolina shag. I bet if you see a palmetto tree, you think about South Carolina. It's basically our brand, and South Carolina is a little obsessed with it. So what is palmetto anyway? It actually means little palm. It's on our state flag and pretty much everything else. Wine glasses, clothing, hats, and so much more. Although everyone has pride for their state, the people of South Carolina have an unmatched pride for their state flag and tree. I know you've heard the saying, it's okay to slow down. And it couldn't be more true than living in South Carolina. A common understanding about the South is the way of life is slow. We talk slow, we move slow, we work slow. But there's something about a slower pace of life that's a little more enjoyable. We're not surrounded by big metro areas. So it makes things a little bit more community-based. Don't be in a rush. You might take a little extra time picking up your dry cleaners because the local business owner wants to ask about your day. Now, on Sundays, most businesses are gonna be closed. And if you plan on eating out for the afternoon on a Sunday, plan around those busy church hours. So these are just a few things that are unique to living in South Carolina. I absolutely love this state and especially my sweet town of Aiken. I'd be stoked to share more with you. Subscribe to the channel, contact me, comment below, do whatever you need to do. You know where to find me by now. I'm Lindsay Vance. See you next time on Living in South Carolina.